WFNN. Headline News Update. Well, 24 hours after the Fed minutes have come and gone, uh, we've got the second day of options rollover. I suspect a lot of people are putting a lot of weight on what's going on today. Um, if you catch my show, I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, putting a lot of weight. If I put, uh, let's say it was uh, a one for the weight of a normal day, I'd say maybe 0.5 or maybe 0.25 for an option rollover day. Of course, options expired on Friday, and there's a lot of action. Uh, one of the things that may have uh, contributed it to this uh, was some of the big bankers out there raining on our parade. And I think they did it for a specific reason, and that is they like to move the market up and down on the two days following options expiration so they can get their hedges on and off and they can get new positions on. So they need the market to kind of move up and down. And if the market's down one day, generally it's up after uh, the second day after expiration and pretty high uh, flip rate out there. It's not always uh, the first day is up and the, and the uh, second day is down sometimes it flips but generally it oscillates between up and down and down and up and it happens enough that i think it's kind of more of a uh, uh, self-fulfilling prophecy from those folks on wall street that need to get stuff done other things going on that we'll talk about on the show today uh the founder of uh ftx has uh four new criminal charges uh, actually, uh, 301 uh, on how he was able to uh, uh, fend off uh, the government for so long. Of course, uh, 301 separate illegal uh, contributions to politicians. So that may actually, people have been thinking that maybe he would skate with a lot of political clout his way, but. Looks to me like uh, there's something there. Anyway, look for tomorrow because I think that there's probably some big money to be made. We'll uh, be back in a minute for the show.